Congratulations on your first all grain beer. I hope it was an enjoyable experience and I hope it was rewarding. It'll no doubt be the best beer you've made. From here you've got a few options. The first one is to try and perfect this brewing process. Adjust the recipe and get familiar with the processes here. Once you do it a few times it'll get easier. The pillowcase trick works well but uh, it won't be as good as a, a dedicated brewing bag. These are bags that are made and designed for the process we're using today. Ask your local homebrew store or look online and buy one there. The other tweak you can make is to have a long boiling and mashing time. If you boil your wort for up to 90 minutes you're going to get stronger flavours and more caramelisation in the brew. This is going to lead to a better flavoured beer. You can also mash your beer for longer. Again you can mash it up for 90 minutes. This will help get a better sugar conversion. These two things will lead to a longer brewing day though. The other thing you might want to consider is to take this process and scale it up. You can use large scale kettles and brewing bags and burners. This will mean that your brew day is going to be more efficient and easier and you can make more and better beer. There's more information about this in our Team Homebrew Masterclass. If you're interested, check it out. The other bit of gear you can get is a mash tun. This is an insulated vessel that's going to hold the grain. It'll make it easier to drain the liquid off into your brewing pot. You'll be able to extract more and your brewing day is going to be more streamlined. Again, there's more information about this in the Team Homebrew Masterclass. The last thing you want to think about is your cooling process. If you invest in a cooling coil, you're going to be able to chill your work down quicker. This will make for a shorter day and make things a little bit easier. 